What happens when you overdose the safest pain medication? Will it kill you or just leave you suffering your whole life? One of the safest pain medications in the world is acetaminophen, which is also known as paracetamol. We can find it in pharmacies under different names like paracetamol, Adol, Tylenol. These are the exact same medicine, but from different companies and different brands. It's an analgesic and antipyretic drug, which means in normal day-to-day -day language, it relieves mild to moderate fever and pain. You can use it for headaches, toothaches, migraine, back pain. You want to take just something to temporarily relieve your pain. You can just take paracetamol. Sometimes, it can be included in other medications as a co-drug or a co-substance medications like cold and flu but you can use it on its own also paracetamol is available over the counter which means it does not require prescription in most countries it actually depends if you're taking it by its own or with other medication that's why you shouldn't take paracetamol if you're taking any other medications without checking them or checking with your doctor because they might contain paracetamol already and you're taking paracetamol so you'll be overdosing which has a lot of consequences that I'll be mentioning at the end of this video. If you're not sure what's the right dose for you, there's a rule of thumb which is 60 milligrams per kilogram per day, but you should divide it into four doses with six hours between each dose. 12 p.m. The next dose will be at 6, the next at 12, the next at 6. If you're taking paracetamol for any case and you feel that the symptoms are getting worse, stop taking it. You tell your doctor about it, then you continue according to what your doctor is saying. For children under 18 years old, let's say 10 to 15 years old, who can't take tablets you can give them 500 milligrams of paracetamol four times a day and for children under 10 years old there are paracetamol drops suspension or spot trees that you can give them starting from three months old their doctor is the only one who can decide that depending on their age their weight in case you missed a dose do not take a double dose either change your timing so if you're taking 12 6 12 6 and you took one at 3 make a 3 9 3 9 leaving a six hour period or you can call your doctor which is the right choice and tell them about the situation they might tell you to stop taking it if the symptoms are gone or change the dose depending on your case saying that a medication is entirely safe is wrong i did not lie to you it's one of the safest substances in the world but if you take anything in an excessive amount even water it will cause toxicity what happens if you overdose paracetamol the toxicity of paracetamol can cause a lot of damage to your liver which leads to something called a liver or hepatic necrosis this hepatic necrosis will lead to a liver failure at the end which might kill you but there was a case study that happened in a hospital between 2000 and 2002 21 suicidal attempts were studied with over overdose of paracetamol taking 10 to 90 tablets of paracetamol 500. The amount of paracetamol in their blood did not match the amount they took orally and that was because vomiting occurs in high doses. So the vomiting is a reaction that your body makes when it feels like it's getting a toxin or, or taking an overdose. Also the individual's absorption and the properties of the ingredients in the pill itself can play a huge role in decreasing or increasing blood paracetamol levels. At the end of the study they found that most of them had serious liver damage but all of them survived that's why it's one of the safest drugs on earth safe does not mean it's not gonna hurt you but it means it's not gonna kill you that's why we always recommend to stick to the right dose there are actually some mild side effects not so serious ones that can happen when you take paracetamol and that actually happens when you have an allergy it's actually a rare case to have any side effects of paracetamol other than allergies if you're pregnant or breastfeeding consult your doctor because small amounts of paracetamol can go through the milk you don't want your child taking paracetamol from you ask your healthcare provider or take the smallest dose that can help you to relieve the pain temporarily until you talk to your doctor and that was it if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already comment down below what you want to know about next and i'll see you in the next one and that's a wrap